Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Civilization V, a brave new world. Before we begin, I'd like to point out, a Roomba actually started his LP of Gods and Kings. That was totally not planned. Um, I was honestly surprised to see it go up today. I think we both picked it up in the Amazon sale that was on over the weekend, because we were both watching Sen Shen's, uh, Shen streaming it. So, I think we both ended up picking it up, and I also picked up Brave New World. So yeah, uh, turns out we're both doing an LP of it. Anyway, before we begin, I'm going to t say a few things. One, I'm totally forsaking your comments. Why, and what do I mean by that? What do I mean? I'm not going to read them. Why? Because I don't have a fucking minutest idea of how to play this game. And I guarantee you that if I ever were to read the comments on the episodes, well... What do you expect would happen? You'd all tell me how to play the game. Where's the fun in that? I actually have no idea how the sound is in comparison to my voice. I wish I knew, but uh, after I did a test, you know, test recording, I tried to minimize. Uh, I have two monitors, and trying to minimize made the second one go black, so that's supposed to have my desktop on it and other stuff, including my episode timer. So, shit. <laughs> uh, thanks, F5. Thanks. Uh, well, let's actually get going here. Like I said, I have pretty much no idea how to... I have set up, you know, the palm urinate, and apparently cut off the E there, and kind of sets up. I think I'll go for an epic game, I'm not really certain. You know what, standard. I have no idea how long the games are in this. I should point out that I'm a classic Civ player. The last Civilization game I played wasn't even a Civilization game, it was technically Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri. Oh, those were the good old days. I really do enjoy the music, though, so far. So, I've gone with Continents, you know, a uh, huge map, normal difficulty. I think I might, might want to turn it down to easy. Uh, like I said, I haven't played since Alpha Centauri. Oh man, like I said, I, I, I'm i just kind of feeling around with it. You know what, we'll go with easy. Uh, and we'll go into advanced setup. I've kicked... Or apparently that didn't get saved, but... There we go. Kick it up to the maximum number of AI players possible. Because, hey, why the hell not? World age, 5 billion years, temperature temperate, rainfall normal, sea level medium. Eh. Anyway, I've disabled time victory. Somebody's actually going to have to win this year. You know, time victories are silly. Uh, max turns. Game on with max turns of reach. There's something around here. No ra new random seed. Each time the game is loaded, the rounds are done. Yeah. I think I, I had some. I'm having some trouble reading that properly. I think new random seed means that save scumming is impossible. At least I think. No. Or is it no new random seed is. Shit, I have no idea. I, I, think, I, I think I figured that out that it was off, was what I wanted. In order to eliminate. No, that's stupid, but. Start bias. Disable map in certain map conditions. Starts will be totally random. Yeah, sure. That's alright, I guess. Or actually... No, yeah, map bias is good. Um, One City Challenge. Isn't that Venice? No, that was Venice's, like, crippling thing that could only have one city. Which, I guess... Oh, well. Anyway, so I've cranked it pretty much up to about as big as you can go. So... Yeah, I've, like I said, I've customized myself as the Palmyrna Empire, playing as Ethiopia. I really don't understand what any of it really means. Combat bonus is 20% when fighting units from civilization with more cities, which is cool. That basically means I have an advancement against anyone bigger than me. I have no idea what a Mahal Seferi is. A Stile, I don't know. I'm just... Frig if I know. Um... Well, let's go. Why not? Wait, did I have to press start on advanced setup to get the advanced setup settings? Blessings be upon you, honorable and righteous Emperor of Ethiopia, Haile Selassie. Your legacy as one of Ethiopia's greatest rulers, and as the spiritual leader to the Rastafarian movement, 
is outshone only cool. by the influence you had on the diplomacy and political cooperation throughout the world. In introducing Ethiopia's first written constitution, you planted the seeds of democracy that would take root over the coming years, and your infinitely wise grasp of global affairs secured Ethiopia's place as a charter member of the United Nations. Spearheading efforts to reform and modernize the nation during your reign, you changed the course of Ethiopian history forever. Revered King, your composed demeanor once protected the people from the many conflicts that plagued the nations of men, and the kingdom looked to you to assure peace once again. Will you lead the people with courage and authority, moving forward into a new age? Will you build a civilization that stands the test of time? Okay, cool. That's a fun little introduction, I suppose. So, yeah, I assume there's going to be a hell of a long loading screen. Anyone who's played a Paradox game should be no stranger to incredibly long loading screens at the start of their playing. But... Okay, come on, really? Anyway, so, yeah, apparently I'm still Hale Selesse. For those of you who don't know, I believe he ruled Ethiopia. Blessing upon you. Okay, Mystery Strong, Frontline, Landing, Specialized in Fighting in Rough Terrain, and Defending near Ethiopian Capital. The Ethiopians may build it. Stile, Culture 2 and Faith 2. Alright, so. Oof. Ooh, resources. Requires trapping, requires mining, and requires calendar. Found a city. This, this is, a is a good place to found a city. Food and resources are plentiful here. I'm in a tundra. Your settlers found city button. Fish, yeah. I'm in a freaking tundra. This is so much for map eyes. I thought I'd start in a desert. Yeah. Um. Okay. I know enough. Consider sending your water. No, I know enough of how to play civilization. So let's see. Is it B? Because uh, B was for base. In yeah, B for base or B for build city, I guess. In this. Um. Okay. So we got silver here. Cool. Let me access the city. The city screen. Choose production. Okay. I have some information that may be of use. I should probably be building a stele. Well, considering it's the only thing I can build, it makes enough sense to me. <laughs> that seems reasonable. Um, where's the research? Research uh, info panel. Research info. Finished agriculture. Uh, there we go. Choose research. Excuse me, dude. What is with your eyes? Are those like his eyeballs? Like this popped out of his skull and super big? The hell? Oh, okay. Yes, tech chooser allows you. Well, at least I get to see a technology tree. Cool. Excuse me. Tech tree. Yeah, okay, I understand what a tech tree is. Like I said, I know enough of civilization because I've played like. Um, okay. I've played the older civs. So I at least know the basics. I'm not a complete noob. Yep, future tech at the end. Pretty standard technology tree, I suppose. Okay. Hmm, calendar looks like something might be good to go for. Yeah, I am next to two dies. I can kind of see through it, thankfully. Construct a planetation. Stoneworks, cool. Stonehenge, cool. Um, and you know, writing is good too. I'm on the coast, so sailing may help. Um, the wheel wants me to build roads. Okay, yeah. This seems like a good place to start. Okay, okay, good researching pottery. Um, apparently you don't need to get garrison cities anymore, uh, which is something, I suppose. Not entirely certain as to what that actually means. The cities fight back, I think. It's, whoa. Ooh. Excuse me. Dude, what is with those eyes? Okay, yes. Okay, yes. I understand. My turn is over. If 
for the God's sakes. The stuff that this is is tricky. Yeah. All right. So so far this is pretty simple. I'm I've got the basics. Um, I mean it's yeah, at its heart it's a civilization game. So. You know, maybe 41 city-states was a bad idea. I just cranked everything up to maximum. <laughs> uh, oh well. Flancy, we'll just stay annex a couple. So, what are these buttons? Oh, I can't... I'm processing for barbarians. Okay. Your social policies. I have some information that may be of use. Fuck off. I'll figure this out on myself. Um, so we got piety, honor, liberty, and tradition. Hmm. One culture in every city, or three culture in the capital. Honor improves like this. Okay, so honor's for fighting. Piety. Faith. I have no idea what a re what religion's about in this. And this is all stuff I can't get yet. So I assume I'll eventually have to choose one of those social policies. Uh, so what are these buttons? Oh yeah, right, I just closed that. Uh, culture overview. Okay. Okay then. And diplomacy. Well, that's pretty obvious. I haven't met anyone. So I guess, uh... It's all I can really do for the moment. Alright, so so far this seems simple enough. Uh, I guess that's science points. Yeah. Each city or puppeted city will increase technology costs by 2%. Okay, total gold available to spend. Okay. Zero trade units for trade routes. Happiness level in the empire. I'll let's keep exploring. Ancient, ancient ruins. ruins. Secrets that make yes, fast. I'm well aware of what ancient ruins do. Thank you. Okay, well, next turn. Let's keep, let's keep going over this stuff. If it would let me. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> 12 total happiness from all sources, 12 from the difficulty level. Yeah. Okay, 1.35 generally from the number of cities. Really? Back in the olden days, you only had inefficiency from having too many cities, not every city. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, hey, that's a border there. You can see that without actually seeing them? That's interesting. Oh, god. Zooming out too far, bad idea. Okay, so the answer is apparently you can see borders without actually seeing the city. That's different from what I remember. Alright, next turn. We'll get there in ruin next turn, so... Progress towards a golden age. Ten is added per turn from excess happiness. One golden age. Every tile in your empire that produces at least one gold produces one extra. Cities gain 20% production, and empire-wide culture is increased by 20%. And I guess this is culture. Oop. Three culture has been accumulated. Twenty culture needed to adopt a new social policy. Interesting. Each city you own will increase social policy cost by 5%. Alright, well, we'll keep moving. That's interesting. Runes explored. And now they are spearmen. I see. Uh, okay. Well, I want to go up here and see who we can meet. Um, next turn. Alright, so what the hell are you? Influential on 0 out of 21 civilizations needed for culture victory. So, I need to fill great work slots. Okay, so that's a culture victory meter almost. 10 phases have been required to find the next religious pantheon. If you wish to found a pantheon, you must do it before there is an enhanced. Well, looks like I can't go and meet them. It would appear that there is a gigantic something between us. Um, Alright then. Well, let's just keep going. Somebody founded a pantheon or something. Started worshipping a pantheon of gods. They've chosen the belief goddess is a protection. I have a strange feeling I'm going to have to probably pick something that I'm going to have absolutely no idea of what to pick. I guess we can just keep exploring along the coast. That makes some sense, I suppose. Okay, so desert 
these guys have two movement points, and as I expected, forests take more. I'm kind of used to things like that already. Cool. Okay, get rid of that. Alright, next turn. Let's keep reading this. Mineral artifacts. If you wish to found a pantheon, you must do it before there is an enhanced religion in the game. So basically before somebody invents Christianity. They may always form one if there have not been as many pantheons as the maximum number of religions. I see. Okay, keep moving. I'll have to move over here and start exploring. So I just assumed you went for the automatically good one, I suppose. Uh, Alright, so how do I change this around? I want you to not be doing that. What if I wanted you to just say harvest from this tile? How do I do that? How do I do that? Edit. Edit? Oh, now I can just rename cities that way. Cool, cool. Um, seriously? Cha do I have to be in change production? Oh, does boost. Okay, well, I have no idea how to do that. Um, no number of mouse buttons seems to be helping. Return to map, whatever. <laughs> I have no idea how to do that. That's going to be a fun thing to figure out. Okay. Alright, so next turn everything will finish. Or rather, the city will... That's a growth meter, right? Yeah, it will grow from size 1 to size 2. Okay. Green is for growth, it's always that way. Green is related to the amount of food you have, and yellow is always for production. Our yes. capital city has finished building a unit. What? No, no, no. Shit. Well, shit. And I can't seem to order people to take... Okay. I just got some kind of warning. And my game flashed probably a good enough time to end the episode anyway. Thank you everyone for watching. I don't know what the hell just crashed. Perhaps it's still recording? Cool. Alright, so I have to go figure out whatever the hell that is, and I'm fairly certain I have to close the game to do that, because this game does not seem to like minimizing. At least I can see my desktop again. So yeah, thank you everyone for watching. As always, this has been Kale Vin. And seriously, enough with the 